Oh, she gone? I know you're out here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, what up? Welcome to Xinray TV. A welcome to this little game called Fatal Midnight. Now, as you might hear, I have a little cold, so I hope you guys don't get distracted too much by my voice. <laughs> but yeah, we're here for the game, Fatal Midnight. I know nothing about this game. Now, I'm just here sitting in the starting screen, and I see wake up and give up. Now, my logical sense says it just means start game and quit game. Should I try give up? Oops. <laughs> so yeah, let's just quit in the game. Let's go, wake up, start. Maybe boot up the sensitivity a little bit. There you go. My parents went on vacation and I was left to look after my sister. She has some problems. Sometimes she is very strange, so I have to look after her. Everything was fine until I heard strange noises in the middle of the night. Ah. It's never good to hear strange noises in the middle of the night. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Those sounds, my sister are probably feeling bad again. I have to check it out. Do I? Maybe I can just go to bed again. Have a nice rest. Leave my sister be. Oh, I can open the window? Leave it open, man. It's an escaping route. This looks cool. Should I check this out? Oh, it's a closet. Oh, damn. I'm stuck. <laughs> Nothing to be seen in here, I guess. Oh, it's very quiet. I don't even have footsteps. That's very strange. Is this my sister's bedroom? I think it is. She's gone? It's strange that she's not here. I need to find her and ask how she is. Do I really have to do that? I don't feel like... Should I open a window too? Is that a possibility? I don't think it is. Oh, I can run. And I can hear my footsteps. Cool. Who's that? Is that Michael Myers? Oh no. <laughs> it's just a face. That looked like the mask of Michael Myers. Lawn kitchen? Oh. Kind of strange. Oh, damn, these doors are glitchy as hell. Another stairs? I feel like this, this house is very strange in my opinion. Could be just me, but... It's a little maze. Let's check this door before we go down. Oh, I think this is my parents' bedroom. Maybe my sister went in here. Hiding. What's my sister's name? Daddy's computer? I'm gonna call my sister Rebecca. Rebecca! Are you down here? Oh, that was a direct response. <laughs> it's not creepy at all. Ooh. this I'm liking the style of this game oh spaghetti meatballs heck yeah I'm in for it but why would dinner be ready at middle of the night we were going to sleep did sister make this did Rebecca make this ah uh, Rebecca you shouldn't have It's very blurry in the distance. 
Kinda makes it even more creepy, if you ask me. Should I go outside? Can I go outside? I don't wanna go outside. Big door. It's strange these doors will, were open before, were they? I don't think I have been here before, actually. Hey, whatever you say, I believe you. There's a door. Oh my god. I just heard footsteps. I haven't checked this door. Ugh. No. That's too dark, man. Is it the basement? I got a bad feeling I have to go to the basement. Maybe in here? Oh, this one. Oh, that was loud. Oh, that was it. It was not me. It's that door. Is that Rebecca? Oh, cool. It's a toilet. Rebecca? Are you here? Oh my god. Are you behind the curtain? Oh, those sounds. Oh. Sometimes the, the curtain disappears for a flash a second. Can I open it? Oh, I can. Oh, there it, it goes again. I don't like that noise. The bass drop. It's too dark, man. Do I have a flashlight or something? Do I? I don't think I do. Oh, is that, does the light switch work? Can I go out of this room? Oh no, the sound is not going away. I hoped it was a, just a bathroom. Oh my god. Is that Rebecca? Afraid. Why is she standing there? Looks like a nun. Can I open this door? It's strange these doors were open before. Oh no, it's walking. She's probably gone to the basement. I need to follow her. It is my sister. She's a bit bigger than I expected. I expected like a small little girl. Hey, Rebecca? Are you here? Why are you crying? What's up? You need the spaghetti meatballs down there? I can throw it for you. I'm not gonna come down to give it to you. Oh, I, can... I guess I have no option. Oh, I don't see anything. The light is out. I need to find the flashlight. Oh, that's smart. It's on the second floor near the computer. Oh, dad's computer. I'll be there in a jiffy. There's a computer. Was this box here before? This is the room where the flashlight is. Damn. Oh, nice. Oh, you don't wear... You don't aim with the flashlight when you're running? I don't like that. Let's go. What can we see in here? This flashlight doesn't do shit. Why did you buy this flashlight? Hello? Rebecca? Oh, there she is. Oh no, where's my flashlight? Hey? Oh, she gone? I know you're out here. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, stupid. So predictable. <laughs> Fucking fuck was that? That was clearly something wrong with her. No shit. <laughs> oh my god. Where is she now? 
she always like that? Just stay in the basement? I don't like that you put your flash down put your flashlight down when you're running. Who does that? Crazy son of a gun. Let's go up again. She's gonna close the door on me, is she? No? Oh, nice. Thanks for leaving the door open. <gasps> First my sister knocks me out. And then the lights go out. Fucking great. Weren't the lights out before? You have really bad lighting in the house if they weren't before. Who's calling? Is that mommy? Oh, the doors are open again. Nice. Let's go to the telephone. Hello? It is me! Hey son, I know what happened to her. Go to your room, under the bed, there is something that will help you. Wow. Is my dad a robot? That was just the strangest call. I need to go to my room, there's something under the bed that will help me. Shotgun. Fucking hell. She's in my room, is she? Fuck, she's in my room. <laughs> Get out of my room, sister! Can I go in her room? What kind of game is this, man? Is she in here too? No. Maybe she has something under her bed too. So now what? I can't go in my room. Crazy old sister Rebecca isn't there. She having a great time in my room. Open up. You know. Maybe in my parents' bedroom. Why is there a fucking kitchen upstairs? Who has that? Not really a kitchen, I guess. More like a washing room. But... Oh. Oh. Did you open my door? Damn. Oh. I'm kind of lost in my own house. What the heck? Five minutes later. No idea. What the heck was that? Okay. Doors open again. Guess she went the way. I heard of footsteps. Let's look under the bed. Nothing to be seen. You lying piece of shit. You call yourself a father. This. Oh, heck. <laughs> it actually is a shotgun. Do I have bullets? Infinite? Should I kill my sister? Is that what you want me to do, father? Still upstairs, I think. I don't know. Lady? Rebecca? I can hear her walking around the first floor. I need to find her. Let's go. We're ready for this. <laughs> Bitch! Get over here. I hear her in the pitch black. Come on, lady. Is 
There you go, bitch. Terrorists win. Terrorists <laughs> win. What the fuck? Counter strike. <laughs> However, shortly after the fatal midnight, the police arrive on the scene and arrest the Nile. Da and arrest Daniel. I mean, <laughs> the Nile. As it turns out that he was a mental disability and is taking pills. Oh damn. This led to the tragic incident. In reality, the sister was trying to get away from a bra. Oh, damn. To get away from her brother by hiding from him to preserve her life. The sister was not possessed by demons. It was all Daniel's fantasy. Neighbors who heard her scream and gunshots impatiently called the police, hoping to help the unfortunate girl. But there was no way to save her. The girl was shot with a shotgun. The Daniel is put in a mental hospital, and there he realizes what happened. Fuck. Well, I gotta say, that story just took a turn on me that I didn't expect. That was crazy. Oh man, now I feel bad. Poor girl. Just sad to realize that this stuff actually happens in real life too. You know, mental illness is nothing to mess around with. You always have to take this stuff serious, man. Maybe this actually could have been prevented if he got mental help sooner. Maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, that was Fatal Midnight. It was a good little indie game, I gotta tell you that. I really love the atmosphere and the story actually. I didn't see that twist coming. Those jump scares also got me quite good. Damn. Yeah, this was a good one. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. As you might know, I'm Zimraid. It's been great. Adios.